in Chicago's O'Hare Airport, getting ready to start a super fun adventure. I got my pizza, I got my Garrett's popcorn, and it's on to the next stop. chariot for the next four days quick note I reserved this car on Avis primarily because the other companies that are recommended in Iceland were not available just really beware when you come here make sure that you give your car a full once-over in the States you just hop in the car and drive off because you can trust it but here because of the road conditions they charge apparently for nicks and dings and dents so before you drive off make sure you take tons of pictures make sure you take lots of video especially if you have your own separate coverage because the focus definitely tends to be on damage here case in point I got the rental car contract and there is a scratch listed on the bumper this is the size of the scratch this is my finger they charged someone before me a charge for that scratch so please please you guys take your time pay attention be annoying if you have to with every little scratch and ding because that's not even a half an inch scratch that they have charged someone for <laughs> All right, so we are here in Iceland. We have made it. Hooray! The first thing that we did was we got off our flight. We got a SIM card. SIM cards are really easy. I'm going to write a whole blog post about it, but it's super easy. There's a store right inside of the airport terminal. Unlike other airport terminals where they say don't buy it in the airport, this is one where you can, and it's relatively affordable. We picked up our car. There will be another blog post or blog post about car rentals in Iceland because oh my goodness so now finally two and a half hours later we are getting ready to leave the parking lot we have our GoPro set up which will be the primary source of the vlog so let's get this thing started research about Iceland especially if you're road tripping then you'll have heard about grocery stores so our first stop is actually to the bonus ironically enough right across the parking lot is the Cronin which is supposed to be significantly more expensive we're gonna go on bonus and see what they have maybe grab some road trip snacks you're doing the Golden Circle or the Ring Road they're all around there's 32 locations across Iceland so easy to be able to stop and get things. Joke is that my mom, whenever we go shopping, she always just runs to aimlessly look at things and I'm the type of person who wants to get in and get out. So I told her, don't say I never did anything. Now she can just aimlessly wander through the aisles of bonus to see what they have. <laughs>
having a real difficult time getting out the sweet section. of home. The dairy section. It also is just a big walk-in freezer. And cheeses. Dairy. The world's smallest cup. If you're traveling with an infant, make sure you bring enough diapers. Considerable size. $15.99 Krona. Pampers, $18.99 Krona. It's a fun trip. Um, the things are on par with the rest of Iceland. Expensive, but the staff there was really, really helpful and he gave us some tips about some snacks that we can have on the road. The gentleman inside the bonus recommended this is his favorite type of candy bar and has sea salt and caramel chips in it. So we're gonna give it a try and see. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like caramel bits in there. Ooh. That is really good. It's a family-run business. The host is incredible. The place is clean. It's comfortable. Absolutely. If you're in Reykjavik, see if they have a spot and stay there. We're walking downtown in Reykjavik and we're going to go do some exploring. Then we're going to get ready for our road trip tomorrow.
smoked salmon. Okay. With um, bread with butter. This is the roasted lamb on flatbread with butter. This is fermented shark. This is what they call smashed fish. It's like a white fish smash with potatoes on bread. And this is dried. The smashed fish on rye. Alright, the smoked trout on rye bread with butter. That good? Yes, it is a little fish is good. The roasted lamb on flatbread with butter. It's good. It's got a good roast to it. A real nice smoked flavor. It's good. She's uh, saving that fermented shark for last. <laughs> Dried fish. <laughs> it's like in the jerky family. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like fish jerky. Dun, dun. Time for the fermented shark. Do it, do it, do it. You taste it after, after it goes down. It's like right on the back of your throat. You're thinking about trying fermented shark. Just do it. It tastes like fat soaked in ammonia and sweaty gym socks. All right, so that's the end of day one here in Iceland. We are going to get ready to attempt to go to sleep because they are six hours ahead of Atlanta time, and so it is the afternoon and I'm not tired. But we have at least four and a half, five hours worth of driving tomorrow and lots of sightseeing. So I'm going to go to bed and we'll see you guys in the morning.